Welcome to the FSM Editor presentation. Let's create new state diagram using wizard. We select VHDL, test as a name, CLK, mark it as clock, then enable, reset, A inputs, Z output marked as registered. Then we select three states, vertical organization and reset assigned to state S1. We can mark reset and enable as proper ports in properties. Do some rearrangements of states. Add new state. Draw some transitions between states. Add conditions. Of course we can use copy-paste if convenient. Then we can add some state actions. Again copy-paste can be used if needed. We can convert state into hierarchical state, push inside this way we can add more states without complicating top-level diagram. When done, we can return to the top-level diagram and modify properties of the machine. We can change name to master, select enable signal and reset signal. Now we can resize master machine to make room for second slave machine. Now we add new machine. We also add signal that will work as enable for the slave machine. Of course, new machine needs some states. And we can rename it as slave, select clock, enable and add new reset to state S7. We can also add delay state. In properties, we can change default delay 1 to 3. Now we should complete machine by adding some transitions. You can also see how to change shape of transitions. So machine is almost ready. We just have to add trigger of slave enable to one of the actions in master machine. Once done we save and close editor. And we adjust code generation settings. Style of the machine, clock generation, uh, clock detection and other attributes if needed. We can generate HDL and view generated HDL code. Now we can select one or more of strategies for generating test bench for our state machine and actually generate test bench. As you see it's created together with the script so we can execute script to start simulation. We can switch to the diagram. We see yellow states. Those are current states in both machines and when we click trace over transition we can see uh, how states of both machines change and waveform is also updated accordingly. Thank you for watching our presentation.